my heart went out to play. But in the game I lost to you, what a price to pay. So I'm crying. Ooh, baby, baby. I'll put that on that side. I'm just about at the end of my road, but I can't stop crying. I can't give up hope. Okay, that's about enough. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious, beautiful, wonderful family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. And listen here, I really appreciate y'all giving me your feedback on um, what we should uh, keep the channel as. And 100% we won as Mental House TV. So I guess that's what it will stay. I guess y'all said, uh-uh. It's too damn crazy. Uh-uh. It's a TV show for this crazy, this crazy stuff that we experience. Hey, y'all, all we can do is hold on and don't let go. Don't let go. You got the right to lose control. But don't let go. <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope all is well, and I hope everybody had a wonderful um weekend and Monday. Um, God, y'all, I got so much work. I've been so beat down. <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> got some milk. Anyways, we've been doing a lot of work. I mean, I've had so much grass cutting. I've had um, the kennels. I've just had so much work. But anyway, God is good, and he's still in the blessing business. And I'm still on this side of the dirt, so I'm grateful. I, you know, I thank God for everything. People say, why do you think, yeah, what are you saying? Would you, you don't pray, you just say, I thank God. Yes, I thank, I thank the higher power for everything. Thank him for my shoes I got on my feet. Thank him for the socks that I have on. Thank him for the cup of coffee I get to drink. Thank for the tea. Thank for the water. I thank the higher power for everything. You understand me? Because all my friends, I, maybe with the exception of about, I don't know, maybe three or four, they're all deceased. They're all gone off this plane, and they made their transition. I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm still standing, 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 and I'm so grateful. I want to give a shout out to Tommy Jones this morning. How you doing, brother? I hope everything is well with you um, and you are enjoying your summer. I know you got a birthday coming up. Um, but I'm glad to do this video. Uh, I'm glad that we, we're not in that um, uh, alternative space. Because, um, and this is uh, in reference to uh, uh, Joe Biden stepping down. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that part of the madness is over with. Because so, I believe anybody can beat Donald Trump, really. Um, but uh, Biden was just going, he was going down too slow. <laughs> I, mean, he, I mean, going down too fast, I should say. And um, because as far as who, who should the candidate should be. You got to always think where the money at. Follow the money. Whoever's getting more money in their coffers, those are the ones you, you know, the the, the corporations, the, the owner donors decide they're going to put the machine behind. And everybody know what that machine is. From those of us in show business, from those of us or who used to be, we know what the machine is. When the machine get behind you, you the greatest thing. When the machine is against you, they can take the greatest thing and turn it to the lowest low life. Okay? So, uh, however, 
with that being said, I think Kamala got um, a hundred million or something in that Joe Biden had in his war chest, and I think she's raised something like eighty something million. She got a billion dollars or whatever, close to. But with that being said, it's also import, uh, important to realize that I believe. Since we didn't go with, I didn't know, I knew Joe Biden was bad, but I didn't know that they was hiding his deficits that bad. But it don't matter, because just make sure, I think we got to make sure it's a free and open um, campaign at this point. Because I believe anybody can beat Trump's crazy ass, right? And with that being said, and I and, and Hillary Clinton, who is not, my favorite person, said something that she ain't never lied about. She said, Donald Trump and his group of deplorables. That's exactly what these people are. Anytime somebody let, uh, is okay for you to rape somebody, anytime, uh, rape, anytime it's okay for you to rob, anytime it's uh, okay for you to be um, uh, uh, racist, anytime it's okay for you to do all this, and you still got my vote. You a deplorable, nasty ass human being. And if you black, you even worse because you a self hatred, coon ass hatred person. That you would speak on yourself like that. And I hate to use this terminology, but that's how much disdain I got for you. That you would sacrifice the um, future of your babies and grandbabies um, for Donald Trump. And I'm going to speak specifically to Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley, Eddie Griffin, y'all some marks. <laughs> I know I ain't supposed to be doing this, but at some point, you just kind of lose your professionalism. And you just talk about what you know, and you keep it real, as the young folks say. Uh, um, I'm so glad they kept te Teddy Riley midget self out of the bowling alley. If you think because your brother was incarcerated for years on some stuff that he did wrong. He really was a person that committed crimes. Everybody don't sell drugs. Everybody don't. My, none of my brothers, well, I ain't going to say none of them because I got a baby brother that's on the left foot. But none of my other brothers sold drugs. That's not a prerequisite to being a black man is you got to sell drugs and you got to hustle. Uh, no. My nephews don't uh, sell drugs, don't hustle, okay? Um, they black men. One of them is an attorney. One of them is a teacher that teaches all over the world. He, ain't, he is not in the army. So every black man does not wear the, uh, the uh, um, stereotype of being a drug dealer. And because your brother was a damn drug dealer who got 20 or 30 years in prison or whatever, and Donald Trump, Pardoned him, you will sell the rest of us out because he got your brother out. And any of y'all who think like that, you know, y'all should y'all deplorable too, because you could have been grateful that your brother was out because you did pay. Would you give him a million dollars? And you should have just been grateful that your brother was out, but you shouldn't have kissed his ass. Now I can't mess with you no more, cause you are no diggity, no doubt of. A uh, uh, a deplorable Eddie Griffin. You were deplorable. You were deplorable that you would vote for somebody that would rape and rap and do all the things, disrespect black and brown people, kick them out the building, want to put teenagers to death, and you got the nerve to sit up here and say you voting for something and somebody like that. Y'all are devoid of character, all of y'all. Slavery done did you so bad that you can't even think straight. But see, Willie Lynch said that. Don't even worry about those Negroes. They will be perpetual miserable where they'll cut off their own nose to spite their face. They'll join the enemy. They'll join the enemy. They'll fight on the side of the Confederate and the Yank. They'll do anything because they don't got no sense of self. They just know, you just wind them up uh, and they'll dance for whoever you tell them to dance for. I'm sick of those kind of Negroes and we don't need none of them going into the new. I might not be here with you, 
But y'all don't need them going into the next uh, generational uh, 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 segment that this uh, society is going to uh, present to everybody. Y'all don't need nobody like that. You need somebody to be true to who they are and hold people accountable to be truthful to what they said on paper. And if you're not willing to do that, guess what? Guess what? I don't want to hear it, Cletus. I don't want to hear it. I don't even want to see you. Anyway, I'm at the end of my time. Yes, I am. But with that being said, y'all understand where I'm coming from. So those of y'all who don't like what I said, please leave me a comment. I love a good debate. So leave it for me so I can come back with something, okay? And for those of y'all who participated in the poll, I really appreciate it. Appreciate it so much, family. I love y'all. Be blessed, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.